Hi, this is Wee Kiong again. Okay, today we will be going through how to upgrade vCenter 4.1 to vCenter 5.0. Here you can see my vCenter is actually 4.1. Okay, and update manager is actually installed on this vCenter. Like the first thing we have to do is we have to go to services look for the vCenter virtual center server and stop these services alright and click yes for this okay now it's stopped I have actually mounted so you can actually see this is the vCenter installation screen Right, there are various support tools added for this vSphere 5 and certain utilities as well. And this is one of them a host agent pre upgrade check. This is to check any hosts that you gotta upgrade to ESXi 5.0. Okay, for now you can see that there are certain prerequisites that you have to install right before you can install the vCenter server. Okay, now we shall select the vCenter server and choose install. Click OK. As you can see, it's now installing the .NET framework which I do not have on my server. Do note that in vCenter 4.x, you are able to install the vCenter on Workstation OS like XP. In vCenter Server 5.0, you are no longer allowed to do so. You are only able to install this on server OS here we we'll install the .NET framework this is part of the media so there won't be any download Alright, now you can see the .NET framework is installed. Okay, we will do a restart and we will carry on later on. Okay, we have restart back to the machine. Alright, we have to make sure that to turn off the vCenter server service okay and run the installation again okay as the .NET framework has already been installed this time the vCenter will be installed
do need of, do note of the new requirements uh, for the vCenter it requires at least 4 gig of RAM and at least 2 CPU with 2 gigahertz and it can only be installed as usual since 4.1 64-bit operating system minimum is Windows 2003 standard on service pack 2 here you can see it actually detected a previous version and actually will perform the upgrade accept the license here alright it will pick up your vSphere 4 license which will, cannot be used anymore you have to remove it and here we will install it in evaluation mode so I'm going to click yes to continue alright um, I'm using a built-in um, SQL Express do note in vCenter 5.0 is now using SQL 2008R2 Express Yeah, I'm going to click next. Okay, you will actually detect the vSphere update manager and will actually warn you that 4.1 update manager will not work with vCenter 5.0. We'll just click OK. Here we are actually performing an upgrade so I'm going to choose upgrade and here to acknowledge this check in order to have the next available to be clicked alright this is based on that you have actually backup the existing database ok I'm going to select automatic in this case to upgrade all the vCenter agent on the host that is connected to the vCenter ok you can also choose manual what we will do is that this will actually disconnect all the hosts from this center and then upgrade when it's connected once again. I'm going to use system account for the services and click next. Alright, it's going to tell you the fully qualified domain name cannot be resolved. Here I can show you my fully qualified domain name. It can be resolved. I'm not sure why this is happening. I've encountered this in the RTM version as well. However, as long as my DNS entry is there, it's working, I think it shouldn't be a problem. And here, you can change your installation path. I'm going to leave the ports as default. You can change accordingly to your requirements. Same thing, the link mode, the management ports, and HTTPS. I'm going to choose the first one since this is only a small environment. alright you can actually check this alright if you are going to power on more than 2000 virtual machine in my case I'm not so I'm going to leave it here will take up to 15 minutes to upgrade the server database as you can see it's stated here so we will come back later once again you see a few of the DOS prompts coming out here and there this is normal Alright, here is actually registering the product, it's almost done.
Okay, here you can see it's actually installing the profile driven storage which is a new feature in vSphere 5. Alright, it has been completed. We're going to click finish here. Okay, and go back to the services. Remember that the services was put to stop. Let me do a refresh and you realize that after installation, the services is started back automatically. Okay, next we're going to install the vSphere client. This will replace my existing one. Right, we'll click next. Agree with the license. Okay, it's done.